Welcome to the YouTube channel, Book and Coffee. We support the authors of the books and never encourage piracy. In this video we read the first 10 minutes of the book, to put you in context. If you find it useful, we encourage you to use the link in the description below, to download the book in electronic format. If you want to help us a like, and a subscribe are welcome. Okay, let's read. Chapter 1 the hooded figure. Nick stared at the pale brown liquid in the glass in front of him, watching a bubble drag itself loose from the side of the container, and burst out of existence, sending ripples across the surface. The wooden surface of the bar in front of him seemed to try to grip the drink as he lifted it to his lips. He imagined it would do something similar when he lifted his other arm from the beer-soaked surface, but for now there was drinking to be done, a bruised ego to salve. In the periphery of his vision a girl approached the bar and tried to get the keeper's attention. Nick swiveled on the stool, pried his arm loose from the bar, opened his mouth, and nothing. Had he forgotten how to talk to girls at bars? Come to think of it, had he ever talked to a girl at the bar? Time ticked on, as Nick grasped for words the girl handed the barman a note and was about to receive the change when she noticed Nick staring. As she slipped the money into her purse she smiled at Nick. At the back of his mind Nick's thoughts began to whir but, like a drowned engine trying to start, his brain sputtered under the volume of beer he had consumed in the last hour. His face twitched in a manner approximating a brief grin, and with that, the girl at the bar was gone. What's wrong with me? He whispered into his pint as he took another gulp. Wasted potential, came a voice to his left. The smell of burning tobacco greeted Nick's nostrils, as his head made the complicated maneuver to turn to face the source of the voice. Protruding from beneath a black hoodie was a thin cigar, wafting very visible smoke upwards towards the smoke detector above the bar. His completed motion left his head spinning, and his eyes a little unfocused as he struggled to make out any features beneath the hood. Sorry. The figure's voice rumbled like distant thunder through a loose window, oh I wouldn't worry about it, it's not your fault. Nick moved his head closer to the bar to see under the obfuscating cloth, but the man beneath looked away to exhale a billowing cloud of smoke. My card. At Nick's face was suddenly a black leather glove holding a blank, white business card. He took it and turned it over. In black ink and what looked like handwritten letters the card said simply, Mr. K, Os Observer Nick squinted at the card, and willed it keep still. Observer of what, he asked, looking questioningly at the strange Mr. Os. Oh the figure faced the bar again a sorry, wrong card. Nick made to hand the card back to Mr. K, Os when his eye caught a glimpse of it again. It now read a Mr. K, Os freelance manipulator pausing to stare blankly at the card, Nick mouthed the new second line, manipulator. That like a magician or something. Something like that, I suppose, if you want to put it that way. S a neat trick. Nick suppressed a burp until he could lift a hand to his face you on tonight. He glanced at the raised area of floor that served as a stage in the student bar. The cigar tip glowed fiercely orange for a moment before, breathing out a stream of smoke like. An impotent dragon, K, gave a sigh. Not in this dump I'm not. Look, I just came in for a quick drink and I've got to head out soon. Oh mate. Nick made to place a hand on the man's shoulder, but the figure hopped off his chair. Give us another one before you go at least. Mr. Oz pulled his hood further down took another long draw from his cigarillo, and tightened each of his gloves in turn. The first one's free, he turned to Nick, his face obscured except for a greyish chin that protruded from the shadows, and a thin-lipped mouth that kept the cigar gripped tightly in one corner. For my next trick you have to do something for me. The side of the mouth not holding anything curled up into a smile. Oh. Like what? Nick checked his pockets. I've got, five left, probably an extra couple in coins. I don't need your money, in fact I don't need anything from you at all right now. Next time we meet, I want you to do me a little favor. What kind of favor? 
Nick eyed the man, his lower eyelids creeping towards his pupils. K removed the cigar from his mouth. I'll tell you what I'll perform the trick, and then next time we meet, you can tell me how much the trick was worth. How about that? Nick leapt from the bar stool, stumbled for a moment, and then extended a hand. Sounds like a deal. Mr. K, Oz took the young man's hand and grasped it with, so thought Nick, perhaps a little too much force. Now then, Nick, watch the cigar. The glowing embers at the tick of the man's cigarillo flared into open flame. For a moment it looked as if K, had struck a large match on thin air when suddenly every light in the room was extinguished. In the dark of the bar the only light was the tick of Mr. Oss's cigar, and as it moved it seemed to leave a trail behind it like a sparkler. Only too late did Nick spot the tip swinging straight into the back of his hand. The smell of gunpowder and burning flesh filled the air as Nick collapsed to the ground clutching his hand. Fuck, ow ow ow. He opened his eyes to see every person in the bar staring at him. What wa? Nick started before noticing the absence of the hooded man. A member of the bar staff made his way over to Nick and helped him to his feet. You all right mate? That's a nasty looking burn on your hand, let's get a bandage on that. The barman steered Nick to a chair in the kitchen of the pub. Nick squinted in harsh light and a sobering chill ran through him as the pain from the burn filtered through the alcohol. Sweat from the back of his neck trickled down his spine, and he saw lights in the corners of his eyes. The world seemed to slink sideways as someone pressed a cool glass into his other hand and helped him lift it to his face. Nick coughed, what's in this? It's just whiskey, man, chill out. The boy sitting across from Nick, and holding a plastic first aid kit could not have been more than 16. It's for the shock. Now let's take a look at this burn of yours shall we, soft hands grasped Nick's thumb and pinky and rotated his hand. Oh, that's a nasty one, how'd you do that? That bastard magician stubbed his fucking cigarette out on my hand. Nick felt the drink leave his left hand. I see, well I'm just going to clean it and put a bandage on it, if it gets any worse you should go to the hospital. Okay, the boy seemed to be getting louder, and speaking more slowly with each word as he tried to keep eye contact. Can you repeat that back to me? That's all, folks. Along with a black coffee, a good book always goes.